So that's the 17th goal for John McGinn in the colours of Scotland. He's now just one behind Kenny Miller and two behind Ali McCoy. It's quite a remarkable return. Let's get his thoughts after that victory. He's with Connie McLaughlin. John, potentially a really important win tonight. Can you sum up how you're feeling? Roasting. <laughs> um, really tough first half, actually, even though we were 3-0 up. Cyprus are always a difficult opponent. When we played here last time, we found it a lot, a lot tougher. Um, but a really important win. Um, we've, we've tried to keep a lid on the sort of reactions and uh, the celebrations for tonight because we know we're, we're close, but we're just not quite there yet. Given the fact that you are so close, right? I mean, there'll be people at home right now booking flights, effectively. How, how do you begin to keep a lid on that? And when do you allow yourself to sort of start to peek around the corner and think about Germany? We need, we need to be responsible, keep our mature heads on. We're excited, no, absolutely no doubt about that. Tonight's a, a huge win, five wins from five. So the focus for us, uh, the manager drills it into is five wins from five is the, is the main talking point. I think we've probably created a bit of history there. We're, we're probably mathematically one or two points away. It, the job can be sealed on Tuesday, but we've got a really exciting game to take our minds off that and, uh, and what a game it is. If we manage to qualify during that night, uh, then that would be even more special. What would that feel like? Because I'm, I'm, you're saying these words to me, but your smile's telling me something different. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're not quite there yet. Yeah. <laughs> we're not quite there. No, honestly, only, only a wee country could mess it up from here. So we need to stay calm as much as possible. We'll let the fans get carried away. I'm sure they'll, they'll drink Cyprus dry. Uh, we'll go back. We'll have our summer fruits and we'll prepare for Tuesday. See, on that point about, you know, that used to be the phrase, didn't it? Oh, well, only Scotland can muck it up this time, whatever. There seems to be a real shift. We've talked before about the shift in mentality of the players, right? But there seems to be a real shift in mentality. I think of the supporters as well, because not many people really who follow Scotland at the moment are thinking that way. Aye, it's something different we've had to deal with. Um, we've had a lot of praise, which is, a, is obviously been rare over the past few years and that's another kind of pressure to deal with expectation the expectation will keep coming we've got really tough games coming up and it's about how we we deliver tonight we were, we were really professional i think it shows the signs of of how far we've come at half time we weren't really pleased with the first half performance and the second half was was about being professional probably a wee bit boring at times um, for the neutral but we, we get a clean sheet and that's the main thing a couple other things i want to ask you before i let you go your goal Pretty tidy finish again. It's a great team move. Uh, the subs told me it was it was an even better move than what I thought, but a great pick out for, for Scott um, and just managed to, to give the keeper the eyes and, and put it in the corner and thankfully get my first goal for, for Scotland in a wee while. And I've got to ask you about Scott McTominay actually just, I mean, his goal ratio at the moment is ridiculous. <laughs> I, I think it's the V, he's spotting the back, he's going for the Fernando just, Torres. Right, so, I, he's, he's got the striker's haircut. He's uh, a joint top scorer now. Oh, is it? I, well, I hope, I hope he takes me over, and if he takes me over, it means we're, we're being successful. Um, he's, he's banging him in at the minute, and can he be happier for him? Well done. All the best. Thank you. Cheers.